Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to live stream to Facebook page making use of Prism app. Now, Prism app is actually a live streaming uh, software or application that allows you to live stream from your mobile phone um, to your uh, Facebook page. Now, let's say you want to live stream anything on your phone or let's say you want to record yourself and live stream, this application is going to help you to do that. Now, if you do not have the application, go ahead and go to um, go to the um, Android Play Store and then search for Prism um, Studio or Prism Live Studio. This is the spelling. So type in Prism Live Studio and it's going to load up and open. And this is the application right there. Do not forget, guys, it doesn't actually uh, live stream to only Facebook platform. This particular app, um, application also allow you to up, uh, live stream to YouTube and Twitch and other platform. It has a lot more platform integrated. Now, when you open the Prism application, it's going to load up and open this way. So the first thing you need to do is actually to sign up. You can sign up with a Google account. You can also sign up with a Facebook account. Both of them actually does the same thing. Now, I have already previously signed up with um, Facebook account. If it's actually your first time, it's going to show you an option to confirm that you want to join, um, that you want to give this application permission. You do that. Then after that, you just click next, next. It's actually self-explanatory. Then once you're done with that, you are going to notice this information um, that I just clicked on. Now you press OK and then you allow Prism to take picture you also allow prism to access your photo and allow prism to record an audio so if you are true with that the next thing is going to load up and show you a different interface now you can notice it say you can live stream with facebook youtube and switch support has been added for live stream info right now close that you are going to see even more thing that you can do with uh, prism you can notice you can add picture music and also chat with your live stream um, fans Close that out also, and you can notice more information saying that you can import by making use of this area. Once you slide left, you are going to see more option. Now you can import a media. Let's say you want to use an intro on your live stream. You can import that, making use of this. Or let's say you want to add a playlist. You can do that by clicking on this. And you can also add test or widgets, whichever one you want. When you're ready, you can leave that off. Now, um, the next thing you actually need to do if you're ready to start live streaming, all you need to do is to click on ready. Now, if you click on ready, it's going to show you the multiple platform that is already existing on Prism app. Now, Prism app. Now, you can choose either Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, um, Odyssey, Travel. There are other ones you can look at all of them. But actually, I'm interested in Facebook. So click on Facebook. Now, when you click on Facebook, it's going to load up and display this way for you. So you can either connect to your Facebook, um, you can either connect to Facebook or you make use of um, custom RUTMP. Now, this is also important. I'm actually going to do that on a different video. So click on connect to Facebook to connect to Facebook. Now, this is going to connect to Facebook. Do not forget, we are actually logged in making use of our Facebook account. Now, this is our Facebook account. If you live stream right now this way, it's going to live stream to your Facebook profile. But if you do not want to live stream to your Facebook profile, all you need to do is to tap on the name displayed, which is your um, your Facebook page name. Tap on it and it's going to display more information. Now, if this displays more information, the next thing you need to do is to click on timeline. Now, when you click on timeline, just ignore this. But if you want to change this particular feature, you can make it either friends or um, only you will be able to see that. But if you are okay with that, you notice right there where it says pages or page, click on that and it's going to load up and display all of the page you have on your account. So now from here, you can choose which page you want to live stream to. So I'm going to choose live part for this case and I am going to live stream to live part. Now, if you do not see any page right here, this is actually a bug. I do not know the reason why because um, I have more pages, but they are not displaying right here. But there is actually a way to go around this. Do not worry. You don't need to panic. I'm going to show you guys that um, on a different video. So now, if you are ready to go live, click on this. If you are ready, just go ahead and back out and then click on save. Now, it will be saved. Now, you can notice we are going to be live streaming to this Facebook page called um, Life Path. Now, if you are ready to go live streaming, you click live. Now, um, actually, a little issue right here is that when I click this live, I am not going to be able to go live. The reason is because I am recording this stream. 
this stream right now. So I'm going to stop recording it and I'm going to use this external camera to continue. So um, I'm going to move to the table. Let me keep my mouse and then I will switch the camera. Right, guys, so now you can click live. You notice I've stopped recording the stream. You might not notice, but I can see I have stopped recording the stream. Now, if I click on live, you can notice it's going to load up. Now, you notice it says starting your life. Now, it's going to show a countdown right here. Um, I don't know if it has shown that. Okay, this is it. See the countdown. Then after the countdown, it's going to start live streaming. You notice it has start live streaming and I have zero people viewing it. The reason why I have zero people viewing it is because um, I do not actually have anybody on that Facebook page. So um, anybody viewing it is going to be organic. So guys, this is actually how to live stream on your Facebook page. And on a different video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually live stream on Facebook, making use of a different settings. We are going to be making use of ROTMP or RMT, RMT, right? So we are going to use that. That is actually for a custom, um, that is for a custom custom URL to use to live stream. This is quite different from this one. So if you think this video is helpful, don't forget to smash like and I will see you on my next video. And for some reason, I do not know why that actually happens where it doesn't show all of the pages because I think I've actually downloaded this application, tested it, and it showed all of my pages. But for some reason, it no longer showed that. So I do not think um, you guys are to blame or anyone is to blame. So I think um, the best thing is actually to send your support a message, send Prism support messages so that they will understand that the application is not working perfectly well the way it should work. But then... Um, that is all for today's video and make sure you wait uh, for my next video if you are still having issue live streaming to Facebook page and I'm going to make another video and I hope that will help you. I'm very sure that will help you. So guys, I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and peace. I think this camera is cool.